Accessing a CD when your device doesn't have a CD-ROM drive in Windows 10. Many of the devices today don't have CD-ROM drives, but at times you still need to access the CD. You can do that through your network by accessing the CD-ROM drive on a computer on your network that does have a CD-ROM drive. Okay, so it's two parts. You need a computer with a CD-ROM drive with that CD-ROM drive shared, which I'm gonna show you very quickly, and then the different ways to access that. So first to share the drive, go into your file explorer, click on this PC along the left, then right click on the CD-ROM drive you wanna share. You can go in share with or properties, then the sharing tab along the top. Click on advanced sharing, share this folder, I usually rename to CD, make it easy. Before clicking OK, click Permissions. By default, it's going to give everyone permission to access this. You should at least restrict it a bit, or you can leave it to your choice, but you can just have it so that just the user's accounts on this computer have access. So you can just choose Add. Just type in Users, check names. So that's the group that contains the users for this computer, which means everyone with an account on this particular computer will be able to access that drive. Click OK. And I get rid of everyone. And OK. They only need read access because it's just reading the CD-ROM. And OK again. Then close. So now this CD-ROM drive has been shared to the accounts on this computer. You can see that by the little share icon in the bottom left corner. So now to access the CD-ROM through the network. So I set up this exact same sharing method on a different computer, shared the CD-ROM drive. I'm actually using a different account. So this account's test2. The computer I'm going to access does not have a test2 account. So there's different ways of doing it. So the first and easiest is just by going into the network. Uh, expanding the computer that has the shared CD-ROM drive on, which on the, in this case was Andy. Since I'm logged on with an account that does not match an account and password already on Andy, I have to enter an account with permissions to the share on Andy. So I'm going to enter the username and password for an account that is on that machine. I'm going to tell it not to remember, because I'm only going to do this one time, and click OK. Now I can see the share, click on it, and I can see the contents of the CD in the drive. Now if I didn't have a CD in the drive at the time, I'm going to just pop it out. When I try to access the CD now with no CD in that drive, it's going to give me an error. So a lot of people get confused by this error and they think that accessing the share is failing, where it's actually failing because there is no media in the device or in the drive. So this error is from there being no CD in the CD-ROM that you're trying to access. So I'm just going to put it back in, try accessing it again, and it loads the CD. So if I'm going to use this CD-ROM all the time, so say this is my home computer, CD-ROM and I want it shared all the time or I don't want to have to go through this area, I can right click on the CD share and map network drive. Because I'm going to keep this all the time, I'm going to tell it to reconnect at sign in and I'm going to give it the credentials so that it remembers and doesn't ask me each time or give me an error saying I don't have permission. Now I have to enter a username and password that has permission to access that share. If I was logged in to an account where a matching account username and password existed on the machine, it wouldn't be asking me this. It's also showing a domain name. Uh, as long as your username and password matches an account on the machine, uh, domain doesn't matter because this isn't a domain. And click remember my credentials so it doesn't ask you every time you log on the machine. So now that I've mapped it, it's now going to show in this PC under network locations. So every time I reboot the machine, it's going to show down here and 
it's going to be almost treated like a local drive. If I'm not connected to the same network as that computer, it will show as disconnected. If you have network discovery turned off on your machine, when you go into File Explorer and go to the network, it's going to show empty and that your network discovery is turned off. You can still use the CD-ROMs on your network or access other devices with this off. You just need to know the address of them. Just click on this PC, Computer, Map Network Drive at the top. You can choose your drive letter and you're going to type in the address instead of browsing. So backwards slashes, the slash above the enter key. Type in the computer name that's shared, which is the computer name that has the CD-ROM drive in it, slash, then the share name that was given to the CD-ROM. Connect using different credentials since I'm using a different account than what's on that machine. If the account I'm logged in as matched the username and password on the other machine, I wouldn't have to check this and I wouldn't have to enter the username and password next. And then choose finish. Just like before, it's going to need a username and password with permissions to the share. The first account showing isn't the one you want to use. Choose to use other account. Enter the username and password. And unless you're on a domain, the fact that it's showing a local domain is fine. Have it remember your credentials so that it doesn't ask you every time you log on to the machine. So now, even though my network's discovery is not on, I still can't see the network. But if I go into this PC, that drive I just mapped is still there. So you don't need a CD-ROM and you don't need your network discovery on. You just need to make sure that the CD-ROM you're trying to access is shared. And if you don't have a matching account on the machine, you have to type in the credentials. You do also need to be on the same network. So if you do this and you go to a different location where you're no longer on the same network as this computer, you're not going to be able to access the CD-ROM drive.